What up, ladies and gentlemen? Me and Colonel Sanders All right, we're here to take a look at the Lenovo E590. And see, is there really any reason that we should be getting an i5 what versus think, an i7? I mean, the price difference is about 300 bucks. And uh, honestly, I'm pretty underwhelmed when I run the benchmarks and I see what the end result is. Uh, Colonel and I were talking it over. I thought maybe it's about time we made a video on this. So here, we're running past mark benchmark coming out of warp speed. Benchmark coming up. And, uh, right. and then I'll we get the know benchmark when we reach 3, the end. Something like that. 3,300. All right, so this is kind of interesting. I got to say, the Colonel and I are both very and surprised, but the pass mark rating is just a little bit lower than what the i7 so would be. Let's take a look considering the, the price difference is uh, pretty so phenomenal. Nine, Sorry about the shaky camera, guys. 726 um, This mark's pretty good. And here we have the video of the i7 coming out of warp speed. Like I'm sure the last of the checks, you don't get Colonel here, we just got a whole bunch of the Savage Shark to come, but uh, they'll do, they'll do. Even the Colonel needs to take some time off every now and then. Once again, this is the i7, uh, the E590, and what is that? I'm a bit Sun. disappointed I am before. disappointed. Even in the video, disappointed. Son, I am disappointed. Seven and two and something. Geez, I wish this thing would focus I better than I, I need mean, a better camera. Technology really um, hasn't gone all that far all that quick. You Seems know like what? Be uh, the video might be a little computer better. Than it would be no, the video isn't even much better. That's annoying. What the hell? I mean, I paid uh, $300 price difference. The you think they'd be a little bit more up with it. I mean, the benchmarks when you're going through the, the, the 3D, everything looks the same. But, like, how could you do this to us? How could you do it? I almost wonder if maybe we're at a time and a place where everyone just thinks that everything's going to be okay because it says i5 and that says i7 and people will automatically go for the i7 but man, I'm telling you, the benchmark ain't showing me any difference. I don't see why anyone would choose one over the other with this information. Someone left a comment to me uh, about this stuff. And yeah, I'm trying it out and that was, that was right. I don't even know why anyone would go with the i7. Maybe they just put a new sticker on it. No, nah, they couldn't do that. They couldn't do that. It, it just couldn't be. Like maybe, um, we can also run another benchmark on these things. Maybe you can bench, uh, it'll seem better. But, what can you do? This is it for me, Nef from Nefstack. Let's have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.